Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be 20 things that we can do while we are self-isolating in quarantine mode, whatever. Um, obviously it's very boring, there's only so much cleaning we can do and, and so we need to kind of think of things to do together. Remember, we are all in this together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the list. I've got my list here. Um, I'll go through the 20 things and then I'll show you quickly like because I'm going to do it or I have done it. So I'll show you like my version of doing it. Okay, so number uno. So number one is get some gardening done. So of course, while we're all stuck inside, we are allowed in this garden. So get your garden done. I know that my garden itself was in need of some TLC. And I'm sure other people's will be with it just being winter. So number one is get some gardening done. Number two. Number two is get some planting done. Um, so obviously with the garden, I got a greenhouse just before the lockdown kind of happened. So I was lucky enough to get a greenhouse before. So it's kind of prepared. Um, so I'll show you my greenhouse in a bit. Me and my daughter has been doing it. We're planting fruit and veg. So I'll show you all that. So that's number two. By the way, they are £25, which I think is a super bargain. And as well to like be able to grow your own fruit and veg for 25 per quid. Obviously like seeds are like 50p, but you know. Number three is to declutter so all your cupboards in your kitchen and reorganise. So I'm going to be quite embarrassed to show you my cupboards, but I will show you because we're in this together, we're doing this together. And that's a big one that I need to do, which I always say, I don't have time, da da da. Well, guess what? We've got time now. Number four, declutter your wardrobes, your kids' wardrobes, your partner's wardrobes, whoever's wardrobes are in your household. Declutter them, get them all out, and then sell them on Depop. So it's another thing, I've got piles and piles of clothes I have for my Depop shop and I just don't get around to posting them. I'm quite embarrassed to show you my pile of clothes as well, but guess what? We've got time now, I'm going to be posting them. So one, we've got time to declutter. Two, we can also make a bit of money from this as well. So five, time to give your bathroom a good spring clean. I know mine definitely needs it. Obviously I kind of do my normal clean, but I'm going to do a big, big spring clean. Do you know where you pull like my little cupboard thing out in the corner and go behind there? Um, now's the time for big spring clean and because it's kind of sunny outside it motivates you to do a bit more cleaning oh it does me number six i've already done this um but it is to clean the windows inside and out i'm obviously not 20 feet tall i can't clean my upstairs windows but all the downstairs windows have been cleaned inside and out um to do it outside i literally use a bucket a little like handheld brush it's like you know just pan and brush <laughs> Um, I use the brush and I put fairy liquid and hot soapy water into the bucket and I just did that and then I went and rinsed it all with just clean water and that's literally all I did and they come up really well. Obviously on the inside I use the window um, like spray thing. Number seven, have a good Netflix binge. Like I love Netflix binging but I've always got so much to do and I still obviously have so much to do because I work from home. However, I am going to make time. I've got my kids at home. We're going to all have a little Netflix binge together. Um, I'm going to do a separate video showing you what I Netflix binge on. And I might go into a little bit of detail what it's about. Um, I'm not going to like spoil it for everyone. If you end up watching that video, I'm not going to say this is about this and so-and-so dies. I'm not going to go in and tell you that because that's just spoiling it. But I'll go in a bit of depth and tell you what it's about. Let's keep tuned for that one. Number eight is read a book or download an ebook. Now, I'm not very good at books. I have a very short attention span. Um, however, I do read James Patterson. So guess what? I'm gonna read a few chapters out of my James Patterson book. Whether it's an audio book, an ebook, or an actual book, take some time, chill and read a book. Number nine, obviously financially times are very hard right now. So look up research side hustle that you can do while we're all stuck at home. There's ways that you can be making money constantly. Um, I will leave my side hustle linked in the description down below. I have mentioned it before. So have a look at that. If you are interested in making a bit of extra money. 10, FaceTime, family and friends. I cannot stress the importance of this. Obviously, we're all trapped inside our own homes with his immediate family. But let's not forget his other family that maybe might be vulnerable. Like my mum's 71, so she can't leave the house. My dad's just been in hospital, so he's vulnerable. And just think how they feel, you know, stuck in the house. Um, so make sure you FaceTime your friends, your families. Just keep FaceTiming hunts. 11, oh, I'll have to do it like that now. 
11, play some board games. Literally, get that Monopoly out from 1982 and let's play. This is something that never gets done. We might play it in my house or maybe once a year at like Christmas. Um, other than that, we don't really do it. So guess what? We're going to be doing it. We're going to be playing Monopoly. And I actually love Monopoly. Mine's the Simpsons one. 12, <laughs> start a blog. So this could be on just something in general. If you've been waiting to start a blog, if you've been waiting to start a blog or a YouTube channel or just a diary, um, you, this could be on anything in general. Like I say, if you've been waiting to do it, now's the time. Um, but it could also be a documentary on your time during the coronavirus. Because if you think of this, this is literally going to be a huge part of history of what is going on right now. And it will be very interesting for people in the future to look back and read back what we all did and how we all came together and how your actual experience was on it. So doing a blog about that is a really good idea right now. 13. <laughs> I actually have to count like my fingers and doing it. I'm like... <laughs> Um, okay, 13, take a long soak in a bath. I don't know how many of you doesn't have time for long soap. I know I don't. Mine's literally a shower, get in, get washed and get out. Now we've got like a lot of time. I'm going to go in the bath and I'm going to have a soak and I'm going to put them bubbles in. And I might even put a bath bomb in. Now's the time to soak and just kind of take everything in and relax. 14. <laughs> So obviously this is kind of similar to writing a blog, but you could write a little book or a story. Lots of people are writing books now and getting them published on things like Kindle. Um, I think Amazon do books that you can publish them on. Another way to make money. So this could be also about the corona, this could be autobiography, or this could just be a story. If you just fancy writing a story, then go for it and get it published and get a bit of money. 15. <laughs> go through all of your makeup. This obviously applies if you only wear makeup, female or male, but makeup wearers, you know. Go through all your makeup. This is something I need to do. I've probably got lots of there that looks like it needs binning. Um, so go through it, bin it, reorganize it, see what's what. 16. This is getting hard. <laughs> Um, like wash all your makeup brushes. This is something that mine need to do. And I do like to think I keep up to them. But I mean, it's quite time consuming. So I don't do it all the time, but I'm definitely going to be doing it now. My daughter loves to help me do that as well. So if you've got kids, get them to all help and join in with doing that one. 17. That's really difficult, guys. Try and do that in your head, like figuring out numbers like that. Okay, probably just me, but... 17. Rearrange your furniture. This is something I do all the time anyway, literally. If you watch me, you'll know that I do videos all the time of moving my lounge around constantly. But yeah, have a good spring clean with it. Give it a good move around, have a shift about, see what's happening with your house and the mood and the... Persona. 18. Do your nails yourself at home. So everyone's going on about how the nails are going to be outgrown, the acrylics are going to be coming off, etc. Um, obviously, if you're not a nail tech, then you're probably not going to have acrylics and things at home. However, I will be doing my own nails at home, which I do anyway. I am a nail technician, but I am going to do a video to show you how I do my nails at home. Um, I don't use acrylics, I use like a builder gel, it's called. And I think that you can order this on eBay still. So if you are just wanting to experiment and have a go at doing nails, you can still get it. You can still order it on eBay. And I'll be doing a video to show you how I do mine. Um, in the next week or so. Keep tuned for that one. 19. <laughs> Use a hair mask. Girls, I'm sure we've all got hair masks somewhere in the house, literally, for Christmas, for his birthdays. I've just bought them if I've seen them in pound shop. Now's the time. Get that hair mask on. Get that soak going in. Also, if you don't have a hair mask, you can make them. There's loads of ideas on Pinterest on how to make hair masks. And I'm sure some are like maybe eggs and mayonnaise. I don't know and I don't know if I'd try that one. But if you're going to try it, now's the time. Because we just did it at home. You can just wash it straight out if you don't like it. And if you do actually make one, or if you know that there's a good hair mask that works, please leave a comment down below and let me know what it's like. Because I would actually love to try and make one myself. I just don't know if I like the egg and mayo one, but who knows. So, number 20. Uh, that's probably the easiest numbers I've done. Fake tan. I love to have a tan. I literally love, 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 love to have a tan. It makes me feel so much better with myself. So as you can probably see, as you've probably seen with this hand, that's kind of tanned. 
I use the matte but it seeped through the mitt so I probably need to put a glove on underneath the mitt. So it's not a major tan, it's just something I bought from B&M. It is the skinny tan which is actually amazing because it was 4 99 so that's like an absolute bargain. But it's the gradual so I've only done one coat so far but I think it's alright. It's obviously staining my hands so make sure you put them gloves on underneath. Right, that's the 20 ideas that we can all do in self-quarantine. Now I'm just going to quickly go and show you, one by one, my version of doing it. So number one was get some gardening done. Let's go show you the gardening that I did yesterday. And let me tell you, my arms are killing from doing it too. So I've got all my lawn cut. I did all this yesterday. Yep. I then got the streamer out and like did all here and like the bits in between. It just needs sweeping to put back. So that's the lawn that I did. Little Betsy's enjoying the lawn, freshly cut. Bitty, come here, Bitty. Yeah. Number two is my greenhouse. This was the 25 pound one from B&M. Let's have a look and go in. I've made it right pretty as well. So we've got like little fake ivy going round here. Then we've got some little solar lights that go up here. Right, so over here we've got runner beans, spring onions, carrots, sweet potatoes, tomatoes and sweet corn. We've got three tubs of cress growing in here. We've got broccoli, cucumbers and then just two strawberry plants which we had, we've just brought in here now. And then there we've got watermelons and pumpkins. So that is number two. Number three, declutter the kitchen and reorganise the cupboards. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh my God. Half this probably ain't in date no more, which is really disgusting. So yeah, we need to go through them. Number four is declutter your wardrobes and get them on Depop and get in a bit of extra money. So here's what I need to post on Depop. Wow. All this is to go on my Depop. Number five is give your bathroom a good clean. I won't go showing you too much because you can't be able to see, but this is one of the windows that I gave a big clean to yesterday with the hot soapy water, looking sparkly. Number seven, have a good Netflix binge. By the way, I've watched that platform that we were just on. Have a good old Netflix binge. Number eight, get a book out. These are the ones that I read, all the James Patterson ones. Have a good read of them. Nine, do a little side hustle. Like I say, I've left mine down below. I go on Beagle Live. If you love social media, then this is perfect for you. Link in the description. Number 10, FaceTime family and friends. I had a food. Number 11, play some kind of board game. I now know what I am, so I'm gonna have to change that. Am I a personal animal? Number 12 is start a blog or a YouTube channel. I'm obviously on my YouTube channel. Number 13, take a soak in a hot bubble bath. I am in my bath, there's no bubbles in, because I'm fully clothed. Number 14 is write a short story or an autobiography. 15, go through all your makeup. I'm sure there's lots of this that can get binned. Seventeen clean makeup brush. I think we're on seventeen now. Anyway, it's move furniture. Eighteen, do your nails yourself, and I'm going to show you how I do my nails in another video. Nineteen, use a hair mask. The one I use is the Lee Stafford Hair Growth with Pro Growth for strength from within. And last but not least, have a little fake tan. This is the Skinny Tan Body Glow, which is four ninety nine from B and M. Right, guys, that is my twenty ideas of things to do throughout the quarantine period in his lives i guess um i just want to remind you all to stay safe and follow the government's guidelines and if you liked this video please do like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye